Are we live? Are we live? Fantastic. Uh... Okay, let's continue, shall we? Um, so I haven't been doing anything off stream, like continuing with uh, new builds or anything like that. Just uh, continuing to expand the solar array, uh, clear out some biters, that sort of thing. Um, I also uh, changed all of our trash pickup trains to use train limit, the vanilla stops, um, and I added... This solution isn't ideal just yet, but it's an improvement. Uh, for now I added an unreachable trash pickup station right here. Just put that behind a signal that will always be red. And if there's no stations available uh, that these trains are trying to get to, they'll end up coming around and hanging around the uh, mall instead. Or in this case, oops, I was going to say in this case it looks like they'll actually park in here, but there's a train in the way. I could perhaps, actually yeah, I will do that. Um, I might just put these so-called fake stations uh, behind each of the... Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I could definitely move this stuff. Just move that up a little bit. Signal's going to be in the way. Don't actually need those that extra signal, though. It's actually only there so that we have something to connect that other one to. So the ones on the left can go, because we're never going to be entering that, uh, that sector anyway. And just connect all of these. Make sure they're always red. We don't actually have any rail in this block. Um, considering I sometimes use it for resupply. Well, very often actually. I should probably arrange to have some rail brought over here. Um, that should do it. Rail from the rail network. Um, I don't remember where we're doing that. But I recall it's one of the more sparse builds because... Here it is. It's one of the more sparse builds because the machines are just incredibly fast. And we're going to bottleneck on inserters and belts. Or even if we used... I think if you gave all of these speed modules as much as possible, uh, even if they were completely surrounded by chests, uh, we might just bottleneck on the inserters rather than the... Uh, rather than the machines themselves. That's why it's all efficiency modules here. And that is going to our mall. Fantastic. Um, I might make dedicated machines for inserters because the, uh, the dynamic build for these is just a bit slow. What is this missing? Single cylinder engines. That's surprising. I doubt if we're having any trouble supplying those right now. Nope, these chests are completely full. Okay. 
Um, I guess I could add a machine here for making... What is this supposed to be? Was that rockets? Um, I don't know why all of these requester chests have these requests, but okay. Uh, yeah, intermediate products. Uh, it's obviously good if we can make a few of those uh, locally. And just have these getting produced all the time. But it seems like we've run out of blue inserted. Oh, we're stuck. Alright, where are... Uh, our construction spiders are all the way up here. Um, pushing the new front. Where's, where's the leader? I can't see it. <laughs> Um, that's unfortunate. Oh, here we go. Let's get these two to follow it. And what are we missing here? Regular solar panels. Uh, I can go back to the old main bus. Oh, not just yet. I'll clear this wave and have them go back for uh, regular solar panels. And hopefully not get attacked in the meantime. No, that's a terrible idea. Let's put some... Uh, let's put some big poles connecting back to the main base. Oh, that probably won't work. There we go. Didn't even realize there was copper out here. Okay. That should do it. Um... I could leave... You know what? I'll just leave two spiders here to guard the whole thing. I can easily have them follow again after this. So let's get our construction spiders to drop off these big poles and then back to the main bus base where there's plenty of solar panels to pick up. Speaking of which, uh, I have been trying to set up a system that will uh, deliver... Uh, it'll offer everything that we've got a very large amount of in the robo-network uh, back to the rail system. But I've run into some problems with that. So it's easy enough. We've done it before with uh, small cargo wagons. Or like a single cargo wagon. But um, once you have multiple cargo wagons. Unfortunately we can only check what's in the train in total. Not what's in each individual cargo wagon. Um, we can read what the train is asking for with LTN, 